Hey guys, it's Colin here, and I have some good news for you today. I passed my CYSA Plus last week, and today I just wanted to quickly make a video while the test is still fresh in my mind and uh, provide some valuable insights on for those who are considering taking the test or those who will be taking the test in the next few months. I'm back after a brief hiatus. Uh, I've been focusing on my schoolwork, my co-op, and then also studying for the CYSA. Now that my classes are done and I have passed the CYSA, I'm going to be putting some more effort back into my YouTube channel and I'm going to be creating more valuable content for you all. Um, so look forward for that and keep those notifications on in for the subscribers. So let's get right into it. Um, I was really nervous for this test because um, I had studied for it for such a long time. I knew how much effort I had put into it. So I really uh, wanted to make sure that I was going to pass it on my first attempt. Uh, it also didn't help that everyone in my work knew that I was going to be taking that exam on that day. So, um, so today I'm going to be talking about some of my study tips, some of the resources I used, and also some of the test day uh, tips because this is uh, some this is some really valuable information that I haven't seen out there on the internet. Um, and some of the some of the biggest gains can be actually made from just coming into the test with a with a clean head. So I use the Cybex CYSA book. Um, I also used the Cybex CYSA practice exam book, and then I used a Pluralsight course. Um, all of these are going to be linked down in the subscription. Um, the two of the books will be linked on Amazon, and then also in the description will be a 10-day uh, Pluralsight free trial. So definitely, um, if, if you're interested in the video series that I watched, um, check it out. Uh, you'll get 10 days on Pluralsight for free. So definitely consider that. So now let's talk about my test taking, uh, or my studying strategy. Um, so first I read through the book one clean time. I read through the book, I uh, took the end of chapter questions, and I really identified which chapters I had had trouble on. Um, coming off of the Security Plus, I was more familiar with some of the information than those who haven't taken Security Plus, and I also knew what type of information CompTIA was looking for. So I really felt like that was that was a that was a really good exam to prepare me for this one. And if if those if you guys haven't taken the Security Plus and are looking at the CYSA and maybe are a little bit hesitant, don't have all of the all of the work experience, go for that exam first. I have a video on that on my channel, so definitely check that out. After I read through the book, I I looked back at the chapters I had highlighted. I reread those. And then I moved on to the Jason Dion course. So this is actually another course I didn't mention previously, like a couple minutes ago when I had um, mentioned my resources used. And this is about a $10 course on Udemy. It's a no brainer. It really follows the book um, word for word. And this is the great way to reinforce to reinforce this information after you have read the book. Or if you're um, better with videos, I would recommend watching this before reading the book. And in addition, it's also got a practice exam and you have some slides that are provided. So this is a great idea uh, to really focus on the information that's gonna be on the test. But after just saying this, I really do wanna stress that you wanna, pa you wanna study to not just pass the exam, but you wanna study to know the information, have this information resonate because we are gonna be cybersecurity analysts um, coming off this exam. If you're not already, um, you're looking to get in that career field and you don't wanna just do a brain dump on the exam, pass the exam, and then your first day of work, have no idea um, how to do anything and have this have just have this exam to show for all of your effort. So you really wanna come out of that with some uh, good information in your head. Um, after watching the Jason Dion course, I had I went back, read the book again. Um, this time I had I felt really comfortable. Um, I also went and highlighted some more. So each pass through I highlighted with a different set of colors, and I ended up going through it three passes. So there, there's a, most of the words in the book are highlighted, um, and this really helped me out actually. Then. I started on the Pluralsight course by Dale Meredith. This is a very long course, and I would recommend this course if you're more of a beginner going into it. Uh, there's a lot of useful information in the course, but it's also a 20 plus hour course. So I would recommend just maybe trying out the 10 day trial and looking through the course that's broken up into maybe five or six sub courses and uh, just just take those sub courses. So for example, there's one like secure software development. There's one uh, there's a compliance one. So if those are your uh, weak areas, I would definitely just recommend checking out the, the smaller courses within the, the big CYSA course. Um, 
After that, I moved on to taking the practice exams. And this is where I circle back to the Cybex uh, practice exam book. There are a thousand questions in this book. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be, take a very long time to go through all of them. I went through a majority of them actually, and I'm gonna link in the description, maybe do a video about this, but um, I actually ended up finding out towards the end of my COSA studies that all these questions were uh, available online. So you actually go to the Wiley website and you just, they ask you a simple question like what is the, the third word on the 96 page, you type that in to verify that you're the owner of this book. So you do have to still purchase the book, but then you get the thousand questions online and with instant feedback. Before that, I was just paging through. Uh, I'd have to go front to back, front to back to, to reference all my questions. And it wasn't as organized because um, after you do all of the, after you do all the practice exams online, it'll tell you what you have wrong, what you have bookmarked. So then you can go back and s circle back to those ones. Um, and I really, I was just doing practice exams for a really long time, but I, the way that I do practice exams I, are, is pretty different from everyone else because especially for these exam, for these CompTIA exams, I go, I go through and every single uh, choice or if there's a word in the question that I don't know, I will go through and I will document that in my notes. I will do further research on those. Even if that met, means like doing 30 minutes, 20 minutes um, watching YouTube videos on a certain topic. Cause then I'll, I mean, any anything on the practice exams or any anything in the practice questions, um, those that, that could be fair game for the exam. And so I wanna say that you, you definitely wanna be hitting 90%. Um, 85 to 90% on the practice exams and anything you anything you get wrong just circle back mark it and really understand exactly why you got wrong um, a lot of the all the questions are choose the best of these four answers and three of them so one of them is gonna be complete throwaway and then the other three are gonna be pretty valid answers so you have to have a pretty intricate knowledge of these different tools um, the different policies that are on the questions so now that you guys all know how I studied for the exam, I really wanna to touch base on some test taking tips because this is something that you really don't see uh, very much out there on YouTube and on blogs and Reddit. Um, so like I said before, you have to go into this test with a pretty clean mind because it is a really fatiguing test. It's about, a, it's 165 minutes. And for me, I had 68 total questions. Uh, four of those were simulations. So, and I, and I used every second of the exam. So now we're gonna run through um, how I how I tackle this exam. So on the internet, you're gonna hear a lot of people saying to skip the simulations. This is something that I've done. I, I did that on the Security Plus, and I did that on this exam. And I really feel like this is a this is a good way to tackle it. You read you read the simulation question, so it's in your head. It's always in the back of your mind. Any question that you come across in the multiple choice that that could uh, support the simulation could help you could glean some information. Um, that could be valuable later on. And also you just don't want to tire yourself out because these simulations can be pretty tough. So I worked through all of the questions and I, I want to tell you something that's pretty interesting. So I had gone through 20 questions. I was 20 questions in and I honestly thought that I had failed um, at that point. I had starred most of the questions uh, in these exams. You're allowed to star them and go circle back. And I, I was really worried. So, and I was just in a really negative mindset. I, so then I just took a minute to focus on the task at hand and to, to really erase those, the negative thoughts from my mind regarding the questions that I thought that I had failed. And it actually progressively as exam went on, I got more confident with my answers. And so, so what I'm saying is you really have to get in the test taking mindset. You have to understand what CompTIA is asking you because this may be uh, different than how how you would answer the questions in the field, but you have to understand how they want how they want you to answer the questions. So I finished the multiple choice questions with about 90 minutes to go, and then it was on to the simulations. Uh, the simulations could be anything ranging from firewall rules to vulnerability scans. Um, so so ma really make sure you're comfortable with all this stuff going into the exam. And uh, something interesting from my exam was two of my simulations had typos. The one was, it was a pretty serious typo. So they were asking a question about a, an asset that was on the network that wasn't even on the diagram. So, that, so that's definitely something to consider. Um, if you have this question, just, just make sure to focus on, uh, focus on the network diagram, not exactly the number, because this, this could throw you off and waste a lot of your uh, time. 
So after the simulations, I, I was feeling a lot better. Um, I was in definitely a better state of mind. And then I had enough time to where I went through all of the multiple choice again. Uh, this was definitely a sa lifesaver for me. I finished with about, um, about five to 10 minutes left. I took out of that time, I just relaxed and went back with the ones that I had that were still starred. I didn't change any of them because I, I, at this point I wanted to go. Um, I, I didn't really want to uh, change it to the wrong answer at the last second on a whim. And then as, as the last minute approached, I was really nervous still at this point. Um, it really got to my head. I was like, if I didn't, if I didn't pass this, everyone at work's gonna know. So you, so you really don't want to focus on that. And then as the time, I, I let the time run out. I didn't, I didn't exactly uh, submit the exam. And I was kind of shaking at that point. And then they make you take the survey. I know I mentioned this with my Security Plus, but uh, they make you take the survey before you can see your score. So this was a really nervous five minutes. And I was like, oh my gosh. I, I, <laughs> some of the survey questions, I was like, I should just answer, just answer the quickest one just to get through to my, my exam score. And at this point, because like I said before, I still didn't know if I had passed. Um, and then I clicked submit and I saw my score. It was at 823, which is, uh, which is much higher than the, the 750 that is necessary. So I, I was really blown away. I was ecstatic, but I was in a silent uh, testing room, so I had to keep it to myself. But um, yeah, I hope this like little story helps you guys um, pass this exam. And if you're interested in more videos like this, I'm definitely gonna be getting back to posting now that I'm finished my classes and I'm finished the CYSA. Uh, I'm still working my co-op. I'm gonna definitely pro be providing some, some uh, updates on that, possibly some vlogs down the road, and stick around to see what my next plan is because I'm already looking forward to, to finding the next certification after the CYSA. Thanks so much for checking out my video and please uh, stick with me, I'm gonna be uh, uploading in a much more timely fashion from now on.